That jump is kind of brutal. So the reason you have to do that jump is because it, uh, it skips a cutscene. It's not just for taking a, a precise angle. Um, the first section before the box has a, uh, has a cutscene that plays. Uh, so to avoid that, you don't have to do the jump all in one go like I do. You can stay on the outside of the fence. As, lo as long as you don't go inside the fence, the cutscene doesn't play. I'm actually surprised that worked. I was already like going backwards just in case. Well, my faster goes out if we get into the cannon quickly. Uh, I think probably get like a 119. We'll see how that goes though. Might have been an early split. Probably not. but not the worst. The movement itself, getting there was good, just getting onto it. Actually, the box kind of helped me there, because I think it would have been too low otherwise. Just gonna take the little hop there, instead of trying to do the jump correctly, I guess. I guess we are in pace for 615 since that's kind of the goal. Lighting fast shouldn't change our time too much. And then um, Carrot Ranch, we just need to kind of get there. <laughs> get through it. Even if things go wrong, it needs to not fall. I need to do the strats correctly, even if they're done slowly. <laughs> You have to make sure like pull back a little bit when you do that dash because the distance between you and the can is a little awkward. It's not enough for two dashes, um, but one dash means you have to walk there. Though I think the the hitbox for where you can hit Y is pretty large, so maybe. You can only go so badly. I didn't bonk into anything about that. I just really want Carrot Ranch to go well. I mean, I know when a Carrot Ranch goes well, the boss is going to go bad or something like that, but... It's just kind of how it goes. That's probably the better way to do it. Jump in the direction of it, dash, and then you have to walk like a couple steps. A couple steps. He's not real stepping, but 
couple inches forward and then hit it, it's probably better than... I mean, I guess you can... Eh, no, it's probably just better to do that. Mmm, that was pretty close to getting on there. Not a big deal, though. Mmm, I hit the one obstacle anywhere nearby. Save time compared to my best, but I think my PV was better than my best. Probably, probably about even with my PV there. We'll see how the boss goes. The boss is annoying because you can't practice it in the demo at least, because the boss is inaccessible once you've beaten it. Which is like such a silly complaint, but... <laughs> you have to go through six or seven minutes of other stuff to get to the boss, just to give them a go once. Unless you restart before you bonk the button every time, which is a little tedious. Can't really have a practice save, I guess. You pretty much have to do a speed run and then stop right before you finish it if you want one. I guess I, I guess I have three saves. I could have a practice save where I haven't beaten the boss yet. That would be a potential thing to do. Oh nice, we actually hopped inside the cannon this time. So, fade to black before seven minutes, pretty good. I'll always see if I can input a dash before this starts. <laughs> Tried to do it again, lost like a second to missing the button, but it's okay. Wow, not doing well with these buttons this time around. It was very safe with the last one, at least. Didn't see what my final time was that for that, but I don't think I'm gonna get an 8.15. I think it'll be like an 8.17. 8.17.74. Oh no, it's 8.15. Nice. 